Today, welcome to the gradual report, where we gradually report. I got nothing. I had a three-day weekend, all this time to research for shows, and I got nothing, nothing. All I did was sit around watching reality TV shows. Why? Because I like watch people fucking their own shit up when they're given everything. My, I think my favorite reality TV show has got to be The Amazing Race. First, I'd like to say, whose reality is that? Quick! Barbara, get in the canoe! We've gotta paddle out to that buoy and grab a yellow ticket, Barbara, is what we have to do. Having traveled the entire circumference of the globe myself, personally, these guys make it a lot harder on themselves than it needs to be. All the stress that's induced, it's, it's just amazing. I Claire! I hate it when you talk to me that way, Claire. It's just not fair. Fair's got nothing to do with it. You dropped the beach ball when you had the spoon egg in your mouth. It was really hard. I was on a tightrope walking across the Grand Canyon, okay? Not okay. Your mistake cost us 15 whole minutes. Now we won't get on the last helicopter out of Beijing, China. Uh, I think the most awesomest reality TV show is probably The Grizzly Diaries. It's this guy who like decided to take 15 months off and go live with grizzly bears in Alaska, only to get him and his girlfriend mauled by a grizzly bear in 2003. I mean mauled, like the bears killed them. I know, it comes as a huge surprise to me too. I thought the bears would have accepted them into their little social circle. He's all trying to get all Jane Goodall with grizzly bears. What'd you think was gonna happen? Did you really think they were gonna be like, nah, dude, it's cool. Why don't you come hang out with us? Here's some porridge. Is this porridge too hot? Try this one. Too cold? Ah, the one in the middle's just right, you say. But then I opened the paper this morning in search of new material, and I realized that quite possibly the greatest reality show of all has just taken center stage. McCain's chick vice president has a daughter that's 17. It's prego. Prego. Like an ego. She's got Juno for a daughter. Personally, I thought Juno was really fucking cool. I mean, you know, except for that whole fat belly thing. I wonder how that's gonna play itself out. Holy balls on ya. I can just see McCain now sitting at his desk going, I don't understand. What's there to understand? Chicks get pregnant if you stick your dick in them. Or did they not teach that? And I'm a rich white man upper class. Final summation, whether you're driving a canoe across some icy plain, trying to make out with grizzly bears, or in the running to be the next president of the United States, reality's a bitch. I'll see you tasty little cookie crisps tomorrow, where we'll discuss eyeballs. It's those things in your head.